I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Judica, Passion Tide. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Before we get started, we want to thank our Redeemer Lutheran Church in Emmett, Idaho, for your gift that continues to allow us to dare to be Lutheran on social media and on, on YouTube. Thank you very much for your gift. All right. Judica brings us to the Passion Tide. Judica sounds like Judge from the Introit. Vindicate me, O oh God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. Judge me. What a prayer to pray. Judge me, God. Judge me, God. Who wants to be judged by God? Who would ask that? Deliver me from that deceitful and unjust man, for you are the God of my strength. Psalm 43, 1 and 2. The one who prays the judge me prayer is Jesus. The one who is in the hands of an ungodly nation is Jesus. The one who is um, needs to be delivered from the deceitful and unjust man is Jesus. The one who trusts in the God, in God to deliver him is Jesus. He is judged for our sake. He is put on the altar of God to save us from our sins. He is cast down. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I yet shall praise him, my, the help of my countenance and my God, Psalm 43. So if we're left to pray the prayer that God would judge us, then judgment on the last day is going to be pretty awful. But if Jesus is the judgment of Almighty God, if he is the one who is judged on the cross, then you and I are saved. Passion Tide, which begins um, Sunday of the Passion, covered crosses because God hides in the gospel. We'll talk about that later on in the week. But begins with this introit where, where the prayer is to judge us. That prayer doesn't go well if it's prayed by us. But the, the prayer is salvific if it's prayed by Jesus. Passion tied our eyes fix on Jesus, our eyes set on him. They they he is the center of what amounts to be the fourth quarter, the final period of Lent. He is judged for us. And you know, the scriptures speak this way. He who knew no sin became our sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. He became a curse for us. Um, who knew no sin became a curse for us. Cursed is anyone who has uh, hangs on a cross. Um, judge me is prayed by Jesus. And we are on the receiving end of his being judged. And then in him, we pray that God would judge us. We pray that God would judge us in Jesus Christ and vindicate us in Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes the movement between law and gospel is a movement between, uh, is in Christ and us. I think that's always the movement between law and gospel. But anyway, passion tied, eyes fixed on Jesus who will be judged for us. And then with us being um, under his judgment, we have salvation that lasts forever. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.